subscribe to the Danny Houston Podcast, man. And he came and, and, and okay, so okay, take me through the whole take me through the whole thing of doing this shit. So y'all sit down, y'all put this plan together. Y'all say, why did y'all choose the bank? How, like how that whole shit went down, you know what I'm saying? So I really don't even remember how we chose that location. You know, when you young, you just you used to what's in your vicinity. You know, so you know here, it's a bank right here. <laughs> you know it's a bank right there that's not too far. Mm -hmm. Cause we don't know at that time, shit. We we sixteen, seventeen years old. We, we oblivious to the north side, so um, we gonna do what's furthest yet not too far from. It, you understand <laughs> what I'm saying? So I remember me and my homeboy just, just kind of sitting around. He said, "Yo, I think I got a prospect." So we went by there, and I remember uh, he said he was gonna go in there and ask about opening a checking account. So I went in there with him. And I remember they had a box camera. You walk in the door. And it was an old school box camera above the door. And I shit you not, it was a box camera. That was the weirdest shit. So I was like, okay, that's the only camera I see. So we talked about it. I'm like, shit, all right, let's plan it out. Let's plan it out. So I remember uh, when it came time for that day for them to go in there, we had spray paint, black spray paint, kind of like on the movies. So we went in there. I I want to say we had walkies, or we didn't use them. I can't remember. But uh, I don't even remember if the uh, camera got sprayed. But one of the main things I remember is I told the dude, I was like, yo, don't put no shells in that shotgun. We don't need that. And I'm wanting to find out later on that he did, in fact, put shells in this. So God, I mean, Jesus Christ. Thank God he didn't. Awesome. I mean, excuse me. Thank God nothing happened to where it was a shootout that occurred in there because it would have been much more than a robbery. It would have been a murder, some capital murder type shit. Mm -hmm. So uh, we went through it. Excuse me. Let me rewind a little bit. Before we went there, that was around the time people was having bomb threats in schools. So what we did was stop at a pay phone. And we made a call to the police department and staff it, saying that it's a suspicious uh, package outside of elementary school. I can't remember what school it was. So what that was in set in place to do is what to deter the Kid police over there. Already out of the way. They already out the way. While we go do what we got to do, and then slow down. So after we did everything, I went right back by the uh, actual payphone that we made the call from. It was the side street. We just passed right by him, slow as hell. And by the time I got there, I shit you not, it was probably maybe 10, 12 cop cars right there. So I just passed right by him, going the speed limit. Everybody was reclined, laying back in the seat and shit. And I'm going to be honest with you, I've never, when they say anxiety, your adrenaline rushing, your nervousness and all that shit, this was like to the moon. I've never felt like this This is after y'all ride it back. This is after. How do y'all go in there? Y'all just what, slide the note or what y'all do? Well, I was a driver. So what they did, uh, they got close the first time they turned around. Second time they went in there and they announced what it is. And ch -ch -ch. so after that, ain't nothing else to be said. So the thing was, we don't want nothing in the till, nothing in the drawers. We want straight safe because we know either you got to die or the explosion the track or something in them tills. We don't want none of that. We want shit straight out the safe. So disregard all that shit. So they went straight to the safe. And I can't remember how much it was. I know it was over a hundred something thousand dollars. Hmm. Yeah. They worked out of that way. Yeah. Okay, so boom, y'all leave, y'all in the car, y'all pass the pay phone, boom. All right. So after that, we we stay over there and uh, I'm from Ridgegate. So we went back to the old part of Mo City, and it was a park back there. I don't even think it exists. They probably put houses on it. And uh, we got there, and even back then, what I never understood how people hold on to shit. I never understood that shit. Even as a adult, I was thinking like that as a kid. Why are you holding on to these shoes and this jacket and everything else? First thing we did was discard everything down a gutter. If y'all know what a gutter is, a storm drain. <laughs> we threw everything down there. And we went back to school. Donnie Houston. Donnie Houston. Donnie Houston.